Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to push local notification in Ionic 2 or Ionic 3. And this is my new blank Ionic 3 project. And okay, the first thing we need to do is to to install plugin of um, local notification can go to the official side of INX framework INX framework.com and go to native and find local notification right here and then you will see this uh, plug in and then we copy this and install it right here make sure you put them um, sudo at the beginning to run as admin and then you have to say test test self we do this to sell this plug in into our config and in the future if we um, remove this un uh, node, node module and then this um, link will be here and then it download it directly if you don't do that you have to find this link again and install it again and just put it like this to avoid this problem okay and another plugin is this one It may take some time. Now I can pause my video and I will continue up with this already. And I install a new one and it has um, this already right here. okay it is um, not big right and we can see this example we need to import this and plug in so we need to go to app and okay right here app.module to declare it in some provider just put it like this and go to a um, page and use it and now I want to create a button and when we click on this button I want it um, five seconds after we click it and then notification will be um, well, will alert now I import this private local notification like this and I want a button right here and call it push okay even it push cool. copy right here okay okay and um, as my experience, I got many errors about um, using Ionic Native because I forgot put um, that um, code inside um, um, platform ready. As you can see in here, they use platform ready and then they use um, this plugin. It is about um, Native Ionic Native when we run this code uh, when when we run this code without the um, plugin dot ready sometime um, our platform is not ready yet and this code will not work so to make sure code our code work we put them um, we 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 say like this and then we put our code inside this block it is like jQuery if you 
if you remember okay like this and I will declare it later it is in the angular the platform and then private like this platform okay no problem or oh. okay and now we go to copy this code to use um, you can copy this anyone so okay this one and press it and you have a title right here and I would say um, um, my first notification and the tag is um, um, we have a new application like this and this is um, the time um, schedule we want to post and this means um, after we click this button and plus with this uh, millisecond which means um, about three seconds later it will allow and also you can um, set an um, icon you set um, sound or icon if you want it's right here about sound um, like this okay as you can see you can set um, your own sound and icon that appear at the status bar when it um, within when it solves and now we can test it I, I, I want a default sound and default icon okay now I build it into my um, iOS project and then I test it okay now it completely built and we go to run this project rs project to test it out okay and i run it and when i click on the button at the first time we it it will need us to allow permission to allow local um, notification right here as you can see and I allow and three second later you will see this okay now I click again okay and three second okay right here and we can also pass some data when we post this notification and then we click on this notification we can get um, get that data that we have post that we have um, passed okay now the time to pass data and get when we click okay now it's time to pass data when we post notification and then we can get data from um, when user click on that notification to open our application okay now um, if you have um, many many notification you have to put an ID don't forget to put ID if you have only single notification it is fine you don't have to put um, I put it ID is equal to one and I time it up into seven about um, seven seconds okay or about 10 right and then we, we pass data to our notification we say data right here and I would pass a JSON right um, ID is equal to one like this and name we name equal to Mr. I and sometimes we okay you can put them um, you put data you, you you need and then when um, we click a button and then this notification will be push and push our schedule and then at this time 
this um, notification will alert. Okay, and when it alert, user uh, would click on that notification, and then our app open again. And we can get data from our notification if user click. We um, code it right right here, constructor. We say um, don't forget to put um, this platform already because we need to use um, native. Ionic native is this local notification. Say so local dot notification dot um, this this variable right. It is instantiated from local notification dot on what is on on click when user click on notification this event will work and code inside it will work as well and then it return to parameter a notification right here and status and it is the name you can put um, any name you, you want right is okay and what is this notification and what is this this status okay this status which means um, if um, if your application closed and you see a notification right here and you click on it and this this value would be a um, background because your app is not it's not on a um, fourth ground because we don't open our application but we click on notification if um, our app is running on our device and we click on this notification and then it will return a um, um, fourth ground right okay and we can alert them um, we can get this data from this um, variable with this, this parameter can say dot data dot this we pass data and we get this data as well okay it should be um, okay and I rebuild it and it should be um, fast because we have already built it at um, the first time okay wait for it a minute Okay, it finished and I run permission before I rerun my application. Okay, and now I run it. Run it, run it, run it. Okay, now I will click on this push button. Okay, and we wait for um, about 10 seconds. And it will not. Okay, you see that? And I click on it. And our app is um, running. So it, it, is in a, it is on a foreground. Okay, and the next. The next one is um, our data that we, 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 we passed and then we will see the same here and then you can take this data and you can do whatever you need right and now if I click this button and I close my application and then what happened on my status it it will be a um, background okay we got it we click and this background because uh, our app is not running before we, we click this notification right and thank you guys for watching this video and sorry for my English it is not fluent and hope you understand it I am not native to English and I it must be like this yep. thank you for watching and hope you like this video bye see you later